Are you looking for tacos, tostadas, or tortas? We've got a great place for authentic Mexican here in Gillette. We're at Marcy's Kitchen. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm so excited to be here at Marcy's Kitchen with Marcy. Thank you so much. Good morning. How are you? I am really, really well. Excited to be here because the food is so good. Thank you. Now, my friends who are on the West Coast, especially Southern California, mm -hmm. it's all about Mexican food. Oh, yes. But in New Jersey, people don't really think about Mexican food first. No. So what was the opportunity that you saw and why did you open Marcy's Kitchen? Well, uh, I would say uh, as being a Mexican and cooking at home for so long for the kids being in America, always cook Mexican food at home. Yeah, hamburgers, hot dogs, and all that stuff. But the main thing is Mexican. So I always had the dream that one day we'll be open our own place because sometimes the kids are tired to have a hot dog or whatever. So we decide, like, okay, one day we will. So all of the time, we tried to do our business in Milburn, but it didn't work out because our kids go into the transaction of the middle school, high school, so we need our attention. So we need to focus on them, and then in the end, we focus on our dream. So we're working, and over the time is, as you know probably, in town, New Providence, Berkeley Heights, Gillette, Long Hill, it's not really a Mexican homemade authentic food. So we thought about it. We always want to have one. We sell our food, we sell our products back in the days and um, street fairs. We did have a street fairs. People love it. People actually enjoyed our, our food. And when are you gonna open your business? When are you gonna do that? One day, one day. So the time go by and um, it's gonna end up very expensive to actually rent the place in the street fairs. So we finished our journey with our kids. Our kids are graduated, they're done, they're on their way. Carlos and Julian, they're very important project in this. And uh, we say, okay, enough is enough. We gotta start looking. And we're looking on the new province town, Sawmill, Berkeley Heights, nothing coming up. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes your hopes will go down a little bit. And we say, okay, God, when is going to be your time? Where do you want us to be? So as a family, we pray together and say, we want to bring something to the community, something to all our friends that I know for so long. The teacher actually love us because we used to do all our food and bring it to the show and tell cooking classes, and, and they love it. So actually, we have a lot of people that are like waiting for us to open something. They're like, okay. So bottom line, it was like a time to be perfect in the right place, in the right time. And we start doing it. And not just because us, it's time for us to do something. It's just more for the community to, to enjoy the something healthy for the kids, not too spicy, not too, um, I would say, not too many um, ingredients and get sick or something. So they want more like a healthy and here is Success Marcy. Something homemade as a make at home is for you. So that's exactly what we did. I love this. It's really an immigrant success story. And it took a long time to play out. Yeah. You told me that you didn't have the time to dedicate to opening up a restaurant with a physical location because you were working for your children. Oh, you yes. wanted your children to be down the right path, focus on their education. Now that they're grown, they're they have good jobs. Yes. We get to benefit with Marcy's Kitchen. Thank you. Can you talk about what is Mexican food for you? There, there are so many chain restaurants with Mexican food, yeah. but it's different from the food that you grew up with in your hometown. Oh, yes. Uh, a lot of people have the wrong impression of what is actually Mexican food. They think probably Tex-Mex is Mexican food. Uh, for New Mexico, for Texas, for California, it is a lot of places a good Mexican food. But actually Mexican food for my town, Puebla, Puebla, is actually uh, the very, I would say, very variety of, uh, of food, dishes. It's so many of it. Like mole poblano. Mole poblano is actually from Puebla, from my town. 
The people who actually made that, they really know what they're doing. It's a lot of ingredients in the, in the uh, mole. Mole is a paste, like a chocolate. that has different kinds of chilies, cookies, bananas, toasted, everything. It, it, it's my mother-in-law used to make it, and I love her to doing it. Unfortunately, I never learned the recipe, but, uh, but it's actually a very unique dishes that you have in there. So more at all is like be cooking on the fresh plate, like the chilaquiles. It's such a big dish, but it's, it's not that simple to make. You have to make it with such a love that it make it like delicious. Rice, uh, I would say the taquitos. The taquitos is actually authentic, simple, healthy food that you enjoyed it. Instead of to have lettuce, tomato, and all that stuff, it get away from the actually authenticity of real Mexican. So it's about authentic to Mexico, where you grew up, where you're exactly. from, and fresh ingredients. Got completely. Everything in Mars is, is being created as the day. We cook day by day. We don't cook from today for the next three days or for the next week. Sometimes my customer, the very understand that uh, the fact that they wait until it's been done. Guacamole is done every day. If we run out uh, for that portion of guacamole for a few hours of the day, we have to make it another bus. We don't frost it, we don't put it on the fridge for hours or anything like that. We just make it as day by day. And I think that's what the, this community actually enjoyed it, like it, and they agree that sometimes they have to wait for us to make the food. My, our kitchen of Mars is not that big, but we try to do more of the quality is our priority, okay? Quantity, okay, I can make so many food, right? Too many dishes. Our menu is a small, but it's original authenticity. Yeah, you offer soft tacos, you have tostadas, you have tortas, which are like sandwiches. Yes. I noticed the first two menu items the Clásicos versus <laughs> Dorados. Can you explain <laughs> what that is? <laughs> Which a lot of customers ask me the same question, like, what is mean Dorado? Well, Dorados is actually, a lot of people call them flautas. Why? Because the deep fry. People doesn't like fried things, fried food, but that's the difference. They, they, they get confused that they say Dorados, they think it's a hard shell. Like you go in a Tex-Mex, you know, that's a Tex-Mex food. So it's a deep fried one versus a non-deep fried the, one. Exactly. Because it's a soft tortilla. Okay, so. well now we know. So hopefully <laughs> everyone can watch this video and yes, save please. you yes. from answering that question yes. many times. It yeah. was recently uh, Cinco de Mayo. Oh, and yeah. you told me that you're very busy. Oh, so yeah. you guys also do catering. Oh, yeah, we do catering since a uh, few months after we opened. Uh, completely, it was a surprise for me. I wasn't ready for, but we did it very successful. Now, a few companies around. Uh, Chatham actually is a, a big company that it calls and um, they have a catering. It's like, okay, we do it. The Miles asked for uh, catering. So, a few customers around here, they actually says, I need these mini, mini orders, you know? And it's like, okay, we do it. So, we make it everything by so fresh. They have a selection that says, okay, give me uh, 50 orders of tacos, but I want everything separate because our family want to have a fun to create their own tacos. So we do all that stuff. Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. So whether it's a small order or a large order, uh, It doesn't you matter. Marcy's can handle that. Marcy's can handle that. Yesterday we have a big catering. Uh, it was a kid's catering, and uh, I'm pretty sure it was like a veggie versions and all meat version, and also they have all the quesadillas for the kids. And actually our menu is about to change. We try to put it like a more option for the kids. And it's funny that you mention it because uh, a lot of kids, they don't like the rice for the different places. And now they come in here and the mother even say, you can't believe it, my kid is like, you rice, you beans. See, we eat it here, but we won't eat it for anybody else. And I just said, the I think of the Maggio it was, very successful day. I think we have three boxes of avocados when in that day. It was, it was big, it was big, it was big. 
That is fantastic. As a business owner, you are working, it is a family business, you and your husband, Hector. Can you talk about how you work to support the community, uh, maybe some charities, and why being involved in the community as a business owner is important? Well, it is very important to us to try to uh, support the community. I've been in the beginning of the, this town, I didn't know a lot of people. So when we went to the municipal building, Long Hill, I have opportunity to meet the chief of the fire department, the police department. So I tried to help them in certain ways. And then all of a sudden they come and run. So I didn't have opportunity to go looking for them, but actually they come and run. So we do a charity for church in Long Hill. We do some donations for them. We also supported the, the cause that they're doing. And also when the fire department come in with the booth to collect money for donation and stuff, we give it away anything they needed. So it was a kind of cold that day. So everybody come and we have the house full with fire department and serving soups and soup every day. So we try to help. It's new to us, but also I try to give more to the community as they give it to us, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you for yeah. sharing your story and we yes. wish you continued success. I know that Thanks. being a small business owner and running a restaurant is not easy. No. But, but it is a wonderful help business. With them. Yes, yes, yes. And wonderful people in the community. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, buying local to build stronger communities. If you like this video, please click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and follow us at buylocalnj.com. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.